All right, first we'd like to uh, thank the opportunity that we're able to uh, present this very fun, fun project that we're able to come up with. Um, this is actually inspired by, if you see a picture of me, um, right there at Utah Lake. That's called a water uh, jet pack, and I was able to do that during the summer. So we decided to simulate and process this, and we simplified it down to a, a, a water jet chair. And our objective of this uh, project was to uh, levitate this chair to a certain height, uh, three meters, and then uh, also uh, move to a horizontal position of four meters. And so, uh, to make our achievement of this objective simple, uh, we made some simplifying assumptions. Uh, we decided that the chair and rider system would be adequately described by a rectangular cube and the mass of that system would be constant despite the water going through it and also the, we assumed a fixed pressure source of water uh, with no attaching medium to a pump or, or whatnot uh, and that would make our system a lot more simple as well. Uh, we also assumed that our valve dynamics were immediate, uh, that is infinitely fast valves, uh, to further simplify the system. So we, what we have here are our momentum equations uh, describing uh, in the x direction, uh, the force due to the jets, um, and here uh, in the y direction for our height. We also have this uh, torque balance about the center of our chair in two dimensions so that we can describe the angle change uh, based on uh, these momentum balances. And due to the inherent nonlinear nature of our system, as we can see we have v squares here and thetas, we were unable to just uh, linearize the system and, and do a, a general first order approximation. We, we needed to model this system dynamically. And so in order to do that, we, com we used uh, both MATLAB and APMonitor.com. So we first, we wrote up our model in APMonitor.com. Here's our equations that you, were able, you saw on the previous page. And we did an objective where we, we fed it set points, had it take the sum squared error between what our set point was and what our actual position were, and then to minimize that difference. And we had, in order to do this, we needed to feed it some set point values. So we wrote a CSV file with some time steps and some set point values. Um, these were fed, both the set point values and the, the model were fed to it using MATLAB, and then the solution was retrieved and plotted. Um, as we can see from this graph, the, ch the model is accurately able to describe the height change and the lateral displacement fairly accurately. Um, the interesting thing is to know is what happened to the flow rate and the angle change. For the height displacement, it was pretty much what we expected. We had a pulse of flow to allow initial change along with a constant flow to keep you moving and then a inverse pulse in order to stop the movement. What's interesting to note is the lateral displacement. Um, in order to get lateral movement, we needed some sort of angle change. We initially assumed there would just be a single pulse in an angle change that would start you moving forward and then to stop you. But in order to get enough lateral displacement per time, you needed a large angle change. So it initially started to do this little bit of oscillation before you got to where you needed to move. And this can be also seen in the flow rates above as the front and back jets oscillated which ones were stronger in order to rotate the chair. Due to the results that you have seen, uh, we have come to the conclusion that a model was appropriately described in the two dimensions, meaning the, the height of the chair and the lateral position of the chair, and that the optimization process control was successful in reaching these desired set points. And so, uh, a great recommendation that we have for future work is to double the number of equations to represent each jet so that we can describe uh, motion in all three dimensions. Also, it would be important to add v valve dynamics to our system uh, for a more real description of what's going on. And also, for more fun, implement a position tracking system so that we can develop some sort of riding experience out of this uh, process we've got. And so, thank you. That's all.